If you recently updated TBC, Survey Controller, or Access, the GeoRate files were also adjusted. A GGF file like GEO09 will now conform to the local ellipsoid interpolation method rather than the original method, which used WGS84. As a result, you've gotten some questions and complaints in which the elevation differences vary by at least 100 feet. To fix this, use the GeoRate model interpolation utility, which can be downloaded from Trimble Direct. Once you ran the file onto your desktop, select the GeoRate model utility. Once it's open, click the Browse button in order to go into the GeoData folder. In this example, I'm going to select Geo09. Scroll down and locate the GeoRate file and click Open. As you can see, the GeoRate model file has been loaded onto the interpolation utility. I can see the GeoRate file name, and now I can select two of the following interpolation methods. In the pull-down menu, you'll find I could choose either WGS84, which is the original method, or the local ellipsoid, which is the new method. The newer method wreaks havoc on older files. This is giving the 100-foot discrepancy errors. I'm going to select WGS84 to adjust an older file. I'll click Apply, and I can see that the interpolation method has been applied to the GeoM model file. In the event that you have a job file that is experiencing issues and height discrepancies, simply load the file onto your PC. Open a survey software, say TBC, then reload the interpolated GGF file. This will adjust your job file to the original standard of WGS84. Load back onto your controller, and the elevation discrepancies should be eliminated.